Have you ever walked into a dark room, flipped on the light switch and seen something run across the floor? You don't know what it was, it was a bug? There it is, it's an attractor. Hi, I'm Mickey Anderson from Fish Tech with this week's Attractor Fly Report. By this time of year, fish have been feeding on a variety of flies and attractor flies work really well. Attractors are flies that are tied in colors not normally found in nature. Fish are very curious, and since they don't have hands to hold a fly, they put it in their mouth to try to figure out what it is. But even with this, they sometimes get a little bit selective, so you need a variety of colors and sizes. Now, if you're fishing a stream that's got a lot of terrestrials, a lot of hoppers and crickets, use a fly like this, and it could be big. Don't be afraid to try something big. If you've got a lot of mayflies, use an upright wing like these, or if it's got a lot of caddis, try this downwing pattern. Now, attractors are also used in, in nymphs. If there's a lot of stoneflies, try these. Mayfly nymphs are here. Caddis nymphs and even midge nymphs are used as attractors. This time of year, the water's low and clear though, so you're gonna need to sneak up on these fish. Get down on your knees when you're fishing these flies. And don't forget a streamer. Hey, for these attractor flies and a whole lot more, come on down to Fish Tech, we'll help you out. And now for tonight's fishing line.